Turkey's maritime influence expands with the addition of two naval patrol vessels to its fleet. In a ceremony event held at the Istanbul Shipyard Command, the Turkish naval forces christened and launched two offshore patrol ships, officially naming them TCG Akhisar and TCG Kokasar. The commencement of the offshore patrol vessel project, designed to fulfill the requirements of the Turkish naval forces, has reached a noteworthy milestone with the recent launch of the initial two out of a total of ten ships. This marks a significant advancement in the continuously evolving defense industry. Two offshore patrol vessels, OPVs, named TCG Akhisar and TCG Kokasar were launched during a Saturday ceremony held at the Istanbul Shipyard Command. <music> Defense Minister Yasar Guler and Haluk Gorgan, the head of the Presidency of Defense Industries, SSB, were present at the event. The recently unveiled vessels are poised to participate in a range of maritime activities encompassing intelligence gathering, surveillance, reconnaissance, ISR, search and rescue missions, SAR, counter-terrorism endeavors, maritime monitoring, and special operations. With the addition of these ships to our Navy, which demonstrates the distinguished level of our domestic and national industry, our naval forces will further increase their operational capability and effectiveness in the Blue Homeland, and reinforce their distinguished place among the world's leading naval forces, Guler said during the ceremony. He adds, as the Defense Ministry and the Turkish Armed Forces, we are committed to tirelessly laboring for the preservation of our nation and its esteemed citizens, actively advancing our domestic and national defense capabilities. In a separate development at the ceremony, Turkey had delivered the ship named Ababur to Pakistan under its national warship initiative, Miljem. The shipbuilding project was part of a 2018 contract signed between Turkey and Pakistan, leading to the sale of four corvettes. Guler expressed his delight at Pakistan's participation in the Miljem project and highlighted that this project showcases the remarkable capabilities of the Turkish defense industry. He emphasized that the successful completion of this project will further strengthen the strategic cooperation between our countries and open up new avenues for business opportunities. The vessels currently under construction with primary backing from the Turkish state-owned defense company Asfit, are anticipated to commence port acceptance trials in the near future. In an interview with Anadolu Agency, AA, on Sunday, Emre Koray Jenksoy, the director of maritime programs at Asfit, highlighted the substantial dedication and hard work that went into the simultaneous launch of the initial two Hisar-class offshore patrol vessels. He underscored that this accomplishment represents a major milestone for the Turkish defense industry. He also highlighted that, in addition to these two ships, they were simultaneously constructing seven sea platforms in Turkey and Pakistan. This ship originally derived from the Miljum-class corvettes, 
the Hisar class OPV has undergone a significant redesign, featuring an alternative primary propulsion system and a revised structural and overall layout approach. These modifications have enabled faster and more cost-effective construction. Jenksoy emphasized the need for meticulous planning, risk identification, adaptive responses to those risks, and a flexible framework to address any challenges when simultaneously managing these projects. The project's production timeline spans a mere 26 months, which is notably brief. Achieving this timeline is a significant milestone for our defense industry, particularly when dealing with complex naval platforms of this magnitude. It also marks a pioneering achievement, Jenksoy elaborated. Expanding upon the vessel's features, Jenksoy went on to explain, upon close inspection of the ship, you'll notice the Miljum influence. But it's essential to emphasize that we've conducted a comprehensive re-evaluation resulting in a more lightweight vessel. We've made significant modifications to the propeller and shaft systems. Furthermore, there's a groundbreaking aspect to this as well. All assessments of our propellers, ranging from underwater noise to performance traces, were conducted within the laboratories at Istanbul Technical University, ITU, in Turkey, he emphasized. Jenksoy emphasized that the project incorporates the on-site readiness concept, facilitating the seamless integration of newly developed national weapon and sensor systems in the future. <laughs>